we're still in trouble. Part two. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute because we're not seeing it in American news. It is very ugly in a lot of places. And uh, we need to expect something like that could come home. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. Well, welcome back again, folks. And I'm going to try to keep this one to the point because, wow, um, I think the only way I could describe it, uh, I'm going to put this, I'm going to get these uh, images up here so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at because it absolutely floors me what I'm watching. Um, Hold on. Right. There we go. So I'm talking about the riots in the UK and Ireland. Venezuela is on the verge of a civil war. Several military commanders have declared they will not support Maduro. The people don't support Maduro. Maduro apparently has requested the Cuban special agents or KGB, whatever the hell Cuba has, to come assist them. And now there's violence in the streets. But what we're seeing here is absolutely insane. Um, I want to share this with you. And uh, again, I apologize for the spontaneity of this one. Normally, I try to be a little bit more organized, but I'm going to show you this right now. This would be a scene in, uh, in I believe, Dublin. <laughs> Yeah, that's um, basically a pro-immigrant mob or Islamic mob, if you will, uh, marching down the streets. But this is what's going on in uh, other parts of the, of the country. And I'll try to show you this here in a minute as well. Uh, bear with me just a second, folks. I've got pictures everywhere. Uh, so this one in Northern Ireland, uh, vehicles on fire, cops are... Uh, they the apparently the Holiday Inn in Dublin was housing some immigrants, so they um, they set fire to one of the hotels. Sorry, the video is not loading very well. Um, lots of bad issues. Uh, there's another overturned vehicle set the vehicle on fire. Um, Yo, know, this is absolutely bad stuff. And, and what concerns me is you, you've brought cultures together without any kind of plan for integration. You're just stuffing them together. And honestly, um, for all intents, and this isn't a dig at any particular culture, um, it is a way to get replacement voters, right? You promise the new group, whoever they may be, a bunch of free shit, and you have voters for the next 20 years. Um, it gets even more interesting because uh, apparently – even and th those were in Ireland and the UK. Um, in uh, hold on a second here, bear with me. In the uh, oh, sorry, here we go. In uh, Vienna, Taylor Swift three Eras tour concerts in Vienna are canceled after police say they thwarted a terrorist plot, but they won't say who created the terrorist. Plot. They say Austrian police say they thwarted a planned terrorist attack and arrested two men. Um, the next stop has been canceled. Swift was scheduled to perform three shows in Vienna over the weekend. Austrian police say they uh, thwarted a planned terrorist attack. Um, and I'll let you guys look this up. Uh, they don't say who was behind it. What they're um, all they say is two suspects became radicalized by the internet. Uh, oh, they actually updated it. Okay, 19-year-old um, Austrian citizen is a sim sympathizer of the Islamic State. Um, what I find interesting is they don't say this was, it was a citizen. They don't distinguish, well, was this individual an immigrant or from an immigrant family that came from that part of the world that would have already been predisposed to being sympathetic to this organization? Um, and I'm not saying everything. Some of my best friends are from Lebanon and Syria and, and 
countries like that. But this is absolutely insane. Here's another one in Jordan. Um, hold on, I got to play that back. And again, apologies for the spontaneity. I just started seeing this on my on my screen. We're not seeing it anywhere in the states in any regular basis. Um, I guess that was a coffee shop. It was a coffee shop. No more. Um, that was burned down. Uh, here's the police. Uh, that's a police van. There's white van just started on really fire. Um, and then I guess they have these little armored vehicles, so they literally put dumpster fires. Uh, this is absolutely insane that that this is happening in a uh, in Ireland. Uh, so now they want to change the hate speech laws, where if you post anything that is contrary to um, contrary to the official narrative, they can go to your house and put you under arrest for a Facebook post. Not having specifically threatened someone, you know, obviously if you go and say, I'm going to burn this person's house or I'm going to kill so-and-so, you will be punished, right? You'll, you'll be taken out of circulation and constrained, but you could simply say, I don't agree with this being done. There's no integration. They don't contribute whatever your your objections are and they will um apparently come and arrest you um here's another video let's see it's kind of small so uh, bear with me i'm going to try to share it again and uh again i normally am a little bit more organized but the way it's, it's pretty much where it's coming at me. So this was an anti-immigrant protest that has been arrested. And uh, this just floors me. Um, the people in their own country, from their own country, can't even object or criticize the government because if they do, they're being put in jail. And mind you, these are supposed to be a common culture. This is supposed to be uh, the Irish culture, the British culture. Um, but you can't criticize. And they often, um, you want to know who's trying to take power. You cannot criticize, right? Um, and they find excuses. One of the methodologies for the... Um, and I'm looking for some more stuff. Uh, so there's still, let's see. Uh, and unfortunately, there are people who are getting out of hand. Uh, Venezuela is in riot mode. They're still posting, but this is from a few days ago. So literally, there's no updates right since the 30th and one hour a week later. Um mm -hmm. There's no more current videos on that that situation there. Uh, had rioting and a bunch of stuff going on in Paris. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that scares me because there's no reason it can't happen here, right? It just happens to be Islamic terror, uh, Islamic protesters against you know the domestic Irish. I'm, I'm probably misex what I'm saying, but you have the native community and then the immigrant community and they're clashing. But who's to say that won't happen here? I mean, we have a lot of the preppers channels have already talked about the Tren de Aragua, um, which is a Venezuelan gang. Who's to say they won't come and incite riots um, in conjunction with whoever leftist organization? And keep in mind, the cartels don't give a shit about left or right. They're about money and power. And at the end of the day, honestly, that's what politics is too, right? Money and power. Um, but what we're seeing is insane. And, and this is the kind of stuff that scares the hell out of me because how do you, how do you prepare for something like that? You know, a lot of people say, oh, well, I won't leave home. Well, that's great if you don't have to leave home ever. Realistically, everyone at some point has to go somewhere. Um, now, some of you may not. You might have a magical bunker somewhere. Um, being able to plan your trips, 
right? Because um, I've been at the, you know, I've had to go to the Holiday Inn in Aberdeen, Scotland. I've had to go to the hotels in Amsterdam and Vienna. I've actually been to Vienna several times. Um, it's completely conceivable. I could show up not knowing any better. And uh, I've, and ta-da, I have a problem. So a, a few other tidbits from uh, my own travels. If you have to go anywhere, whether it's to the next city in two, two hour drive or uh, a flight 15 hours to another country um, one do your homework I've done a lot of videos look at my travel series on the internet um, do your homework as to where you're going how you're gonna get there if there's a different currency where you're going from where you are now get the currency in advance take your cash or go to go to your bank tell them take you know whatever money from your account and tell them I want say $300 US in pesos, in bolivars, in whatever the current yen, whatever the currency is. So when you show up in country, you're gonna look different typically, right? If I go to Japan, I'm gonna absolutely stand out. Me going to Argentina, I can kind of fit in. Me going to Europe, I'll fit in. But there's certain places I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stand out, right? Um, once you get to the new country, minimize showing American cash or Canadian cash, wherever you're from, show the local currency. So for all they know, you're another local, maybe a different ethnicity, a different culture, but you're a local. They won't know. And you don't want to advertise the money. Two, if you go out, don't be the stupid American or the stupid. I've seen them time and time again. They go out and they're like, um, They'll go to bars and get really loud and go, yeah, but well, we're fucking American. And they start running their mouth. Wrong. If, if ever you do gray man, it's when you're in someone else's country, okay? Because they don't give a shit. If the local law says the cops can kick your ass, put you in jail and leave you there for five days before you get a phone call, guess what? You have zero constitutional rights in their country. Zero. So understand those things. Um, if you go even to another city here in the States or in Canada, look at the routes, look and see. You, it's easy to do on Google, Apple Maps, Waze. Where's the construction? Where's my destination? What's by the destination? Is it by a place where people are known to gather? Look at Facebook, look at Twitter or X, I should say. Look at TikTok, whatever uh, social media and see what's planned that day. Um, have a hard copy map of that city, which you can get at a visitor's bureau, usually for free in your vehicle or in your rental car, have it on your carry on. I know Houston. I lived there for 15 years. If I fly into Houston, I don't need a map of freaking Houston. I know Houston. If I fly to Chicago, I don't know Chicago. I'm going to buy a map or at least I'm going to print out a map of the layout of the city so I know, okay, well, this road runs north-south, this one runs east-west. So if I'm in this part of town, if I hit this highway, I know I've hit the loop, or I know I've hit the east-west highway. Whatever the case is, I don't know Chicago, I'm making stuff up, but you get what I'm saying. And most importantly, do some homework as to where you're going to stay. If you're not staying with family, you're staying in a hotel, um, I mean, imagine if I was on a business trip at that Holiday Inn, not knowing there's a bunch of migrants in there, and now the rioters have come out and they're fighting with the counter rioters in the hotel lobby, right? Clearly, I can't have my beer and pizza in the cafe if people are having fist fights. Now I'm stuck in my room, and now I'm kind of trapped. So now what? How do you know? How will you know those folks won't come upstairs and start harassing people in the hallways? A lot of things to think about, folks. But if we don't think this kind of situation could come here, it did already. It came in 2020, came again in 2016. We saw it on the streets. And I promise you, oh, I'm sorry, I had that microphone up there. And I promise you, it can absolutely happen again if you're not careful with the way you do things. Do your homework. Be careful out there. And I'll leave you with that thought. You guys be safe. Watch how this plays out. Because whatever happens in Europe, they're going to try and do here. 
They're going to try and arrest us for social media posts. They're going to try and confiscate your firearms, your car, whatever, take away your rights so that they can control the streets to control the narrative. And a lot of the people getting arrested right now are Irish and British, uh, not the not citizens that are running around the streets. So, and by the way, where kicked this all off was an immigrant went and stabbed, I believe it was three or five kids and killed almost all of them, all under the age of nine, because he didn't like what something, he didn't like the fact that the mother didn't have a burqa or so. I don't know what kicked it off and everyone flipped the fuck out. So you never know, watch your six, pay attention. If you can carry defensive items, do so, but train with them regularly and consistently. And I will see you all on the next video. Scary times, folks. Absolutely scary times. You guys take care.